Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Nandas, the Tech Teacher, and welcome to Third Nine Weeks, Quarter Three, Week One, Typing.com Assignment. This is for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Let's go to my website to get started. Now remember Panthers, I like to start from my website. If you guys know how to get to Typing.com on your own, great. Otherwise, go to my website, and it's one of the first button links on the top. Let's click on Typing.com. The Typing.com homepage has changed a little bit for this beginning of the year, so the login is still in the top right hand corner, but the page looks uh, slightly a little different. So we're going to press login. You are a student. And then we got two choices. I like to ask you to still continue with Microsoft and see if that works. Some of you have been coming across some error pages that say, oh, oh, can't sign in. Just back out and then try the Google one. Okay. At this point, most of you already know, if your Google's been working great, you do that one. If your Microsoft's been working great, do that one. So Mr. H is going to do my Microsoft. Finish signing in like normal. Excuse me while I have to finish signing in. A lot of you don't have to go through a lot of these steps that you're seeing on my screen right now. I am doing this from home, and when I do this from home as a teacher, it asks me for some extra layers of protection with my password so ignore all that but once we're in we're doing our one minute test this week panthers and so i've got a challenge for you let's see who can do the best time the fastest time words per minute wpm and the one minute test for this beginning third nine weeks all right we're going to go to tests now at least do one for me after that if you don't want to continue that's fine um, if you want to just go back to lessons or games, I'll leave that up to you. But for at least one attempt, let's go to tests and you'll press start test. If you've done some tests on your account lately, you'll see some of the previous uh, times. These are some of my times. All right. And so you want to go to start test. And please don't forget, you start these tests in capital letters. You've got to hold down that shift button. All right. Hold down your shift button and then go for it, all right? I'm gonna push pause on my recording for a moment and um, let's see how I do afterwards, all right? I won't let you watch right now because you get a lot of clinkly clanking going on on the recording, but give me one moment and I'll be right back with my score. All right, Panthers, whoo, I'm back. So I just finished my one minute test here at home with my own home computer and wow, I got a whopping 95 words per minute. I think I said a new personal best, way to go Mr. H. But anyways, this first number is what we're really looking for, right? This first number is gonna give you a number, WPM, words per minute. And then the second number is how accurate, accurate you are. It's called accuracy. Usually you want this to be in the 90s or higher. If it's less than 90s, if it's below that, I recommend that it's not your true speed, all right? That means that you, you made a few too many errors to really be what your words per minute is. But anyways, we take this score, we put it up on the board, so look in the classroom on the whiteboard, and you're gonna see uh, previous uh, top scores from other classes, and hopefully your name will go up there on the board, all right? Prize given for top typist from each class, all right? So Panthers, Keep trying this if you want. You just got to push the back button if you want to keep on trying. Back button and press start test again. All right. If you don't want to keep trying, you're more than welcome to keep going for the lessons and games for this week's lessons. All right. But otherwise, good luck. Can't wait to see you try your typing.com one minute test for the third nine weeks week one assignment. I'll see you in computer lab, Panthers. Bye for now.